everyone, I'm Les, and this is Comfortable Shoes Studio, and I'm going to show you a little bit, well, I'm going to talk about organization and um, do some stuff that I used to do, a thing that I did a lot when I was in grad school, and also when I had a corporate job because um, it kept me organized. And I have been utterly disorganized of late, um, just my side hustle stuff. I hate calling it a side hustle, but my art making outside of work has really suffered recently and um, I'm just haven't been able to focus on it the way that I would like. Also my art making space at home is an utter disaster. Um, this space is, I live in a small house, it's about 1200 square feet so a lot of our spaces have to do double duty and my art making space is no different. So um, I've got camera bits and pieces that end up dumped here, uh, coupons that end up dumped here, uh, mail sometimes gets dumped here, uh, more parts and pieces for camera equipment, um, and also my um, pens and pencils and stuff. Uh, projects that need to be finished like this uh, vintage, <laughs> is it a vintage moleskin? Uh, it's an old moleskin that uh, I got to have, it's got a, uh, it's hardly been used. It was sent in as a donation. Um, but the elastic is completely kaput, so I want to replace that. So there's a project that I haven't done. Pens, sketchbooks, and whatnot. Um, I'm going to do a whole episode on these sketchbooks because they are great um, for the price. So anyway, um, <laughs> we're going to do calendar today and um, this calendar setup is a really simple calendar setup that I have used throughout the years and it has been something that's been really really beneficial for me <clears throat> and uh, I'm not going to use this one I want to use this one um, because no, oh, it appears to have printed, well, we're not going to use that one, I guess. <laughs> um, I need, I actually need October 2024 and then 2025. So it printed the wrong one. I'm going to go print that, but just wanted to give you kind of an establishing shot of what a mess my desk is. And I, I don't know that I've really established how bad it is. All right, so I got that reprinted, and here's the nice new calendar. Um, and what's going to happen with this is this is going to go in a three by three block on the wall so that I can see it at all times um, and just be able to know what's happening in the world or in my world at a very easy glance. So I kind of I started with this. This is a little bit of I started with Sunday instead of Monday and I don't I don't like that <clears throat> so we're gonna we're gonna transfer everything over to this calendar so I am going to use highlighters red ink for days off green for paydays um, the blue is gonna show blocks of time off um, and I may I may add some more color um, with some more markers. All right, um, so I have the 14th off. Uh, the building is closed. Um, I also, I'm going to make note of important things happening in the world. So uh, let's see, 4th is a payday, 18th is a payday, and the 1st will also be a payday. Um, Thursday the 3rd is the Salem <clears throat> Halloween Parade, which means I need to avoid Salem. I'm going to put that. It is a nightmare every year, um, and I've gotten caught in it a couple of years, so not, not great. So, all right, so I'm going to have a block of time off here. I'm going to use the blue to show that. It. 
this Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. It's a three-day block of time off. And <clears throat> blocks of time off, I kind of use them to do longer form content making. Um, I like to get into projects um, that take a little longer to do. All right, so that's the basics of what the calendar is going to look like. <clears throat> now, November is going to be a little more involved. All right, so let's see. The 11th is Veterans Day. I have a half day at work, um, and I'll be in for the afternoon, so it's a 12 to 5 p.m. day. And, okay, fifth is Election Day, and the 28th is Thanksgiving. Um, and I have that day off, and I have the Friday after off. Um, and I'm going to figure out a way to designate that I have no kids for the entire I think we have a half day that day, but I've got a block here of time off, so just trying to get that. Uh, I'm also going to pull up if <clears throat> on my computer somewhere, there it is, the calendar of events, let's see, no groups. Okay, and today, this day, is a half day. Now, I'm probably going to take that off, um, so it'll be a full day, but I like designating on here what is actually given by the company. Um, so I think, in terms of showing no kids in the building, I'm going to do orange. Actually, I didn't need to. So, no kids this entire time. <clears throat> also, no kids here. And let's see, I've got Saturday and Sunday blocked off. Wait. Oops, wrong. I hate it when I do that. Anyway, so it's the 9th and 10th that I have off for a block of time. Not the 2nd and 3rd, that's okay. Um, Alright, we've got K here, K here, K there. I also have a Doctor's appointment. All right. This is November. Uh, December is also going to be a little more complicated. <clears throat> because we have a lot of time without kids. All right. So the 20. Third through New Year's, no kids in the building. You don't really have to mark it on the weekends because you never have kids in the building on the weekends. But there we go. I'm gonna mark it anyway. All right, so no kids. Um, so Christmas Eve. Christmas Day, I believe I'm off on both of these days. Usually I take this entire two week stretch pretty much off. Um, and let's see, New Year's Eve, I think, is also off. But I know for sure New Year's Day. 
Um, actually, we don't have that off. We have New Year's Day off. Huh. All right, so the 13th is a payday, and the 27th is a payday. Um, now, let's see. Interestingly enough, we only have Christmas Day closed and New Year's Day closed. Um, where we... Interesting. Usually there's more more stuff around that. Anyhow, all right, so that's, that's December. Not as complicated as I thought. Okay, let's look at January. <clears throat> um, let's get the orange out, so no young people in the building. For those days, um, we get that day off only. A lot of us just take from Christmas Eve to New Year's off. Now the 10th is a payday. 24th is a payday. Um, let's see. 120 is ML. Day, which um, we have off. I'm going to designate the block with blue. And yeah, okay. So the reason I'm doing this is so that I can see these blocks of time where either I don't have kids in the building or I am like, I have blocks of time. I have three day weekends. So February is a little miserable. Um, let's see, from the 17th to the 21st, we have February break where we have no kids in the building. So, um, no groups. The 21st is a payday. The 7th is a payday. So no three-day weekends there. Might end up taking something there, just so I have it. All right, let's look at February and March. Um, March. Um, it's actually pretty abysmal looking. We got payday and a payday, but no time off. March there. Let's see what I have on this. Yeah, nothing. No time off um, at all in March. No three day weeks. <clears throat> all right, let's look at. April. Ah, okay. We've got Easter, We've got some paydays, we've got a payday here, We've got a payday here, 15th tax day, um, and no groups the 21st through 25th. Um, all right, so Easter is the 20th. Easter Monday observed. Um, I actually don't think we're going to be closed that day, which is interesting. Usually there's some sort of day off associated with that. Um, I may end up taking something around this. Uh, I've got to look also at our time off calendar. All right, so April and then May. The 11th is Mother's Day. 26th is Memorial Day. 
Um, and that is a federal holiday, so we do have it off, but we also have no kids in the building to the 30th. And I will have a three day block. May end up taking, actually, I know, I know I won't be able to take any time around this off. Um, it's usually kind of a chaotic period. Um, maybe I'll take a long weekend if I'm able to. I might try blocking something out for the 30th, 31st, and 1st, or maybe I'll take this Friday off. Um, I have work from home on Fridays, so that makes it a lot more feasible for me. All right. Oh, forgot to put pay on here. Payday. Payday. And payday. All right. So you might, I'm not doing an entire year. Um, I'm only doing the current fiscal year for where I work. Um, and until June. So June is kind of where things lighten up at work. And I will be looking at doing a whole other one of these starting in July of next year. Um, so that just will work better for me overall. But all right, so we got no groups that week. Um, which is, this is usually a pretty busy week. We have a graduation. We're usually cleaning up. Um, all right, so this is the 30th payday. This is the payday. And then pay. Um, what also usually happens is I take a chunk of vacation at the beginning of July. Um, so July 4th would fall here. So probably I'll be off from the 27th through July 4th, and then summer groups will happen. Um, all right, so that's kind of how I block out my schedule. This is something that I used to do um, in grad school and when I worked in a, my corporate gig. Um, I did this for work and it helped keep me super organized. And um, I'm hoping it helps keep me more organized here. Um, with like my plans for video making and art making so I can kind of block out when I'm going to have larger blocks of time. Um, and I guess I can actually go in here. So Fridays are my work from home day. So I'm going to mark, ooh, this gray is actually super dark. Um, I'm going to mark out my work from home days here. So the good thing about work from home is that I'm actually able to like kind of plan some stuff out and it's also going to give me a kind of a designation of like where I can schedule stuff. So I do schedule like my doctor's appointments on Fridays because I'm able to flex my hours. So like I might get up at like six in the morning, do some work stuff. And then, um, you know, go to my doctor's appointment, plan my lunch around that, take my laptop with me, and then I can um, get some things done. All right. So this is just kind of probably boring to watch, but this really helps keep my brain organized. I know this is a little outside of the scope of comfortable shoe studio but as someone who's been like super organized in the past and all of a sudden I'm like not organized um I'm trying to revert back to like some of the things that I know work for me in terms of organization um I talk more about this over on less is more healthy uh, and um like getting back into positive habits, and po things that are good for me, um, and being more organized is one of them. So, so this is one step in my process of becoming more organized. And um, 
definitely not an easy thing to kind of get back into. This is kind of the thing that um, RSVP, the stationary podcast I used to be on, was really good at helping me, you know, having a conversation with Lenore and Dade about like the things that keep us organized and the tools that we use as ridiculous as it sounds was actually super helpful in keeping me more organized so i missed the podcast miss talking to my friends on a regular scheduled basis and uh i miss how it kept me on track um so the interesting thing about like this kind of like calendar thing because I'm using color coding it um, isn't going to make a lot of sense to other people so the other thing that I will end up doing with this is using post-it notes and post-it flags to apply things to this so you know I could get really decorative with this I could get a dry erase version of the calendar I find just regular old paper works um, and then sticking it straight to the wall um, with some sort of adhesive. I'll probably use um, the x um glue roller to glue it to the wall. And then um, I don't know what I did with my little post-it notes. Um, so I'll write on a post-it note and then it'll get stuck on here on the days where that needs to be accomplished. Um, I will also be using this in conjunction with a pocket notebook and a to-do list. I'm going to get back into doing my um, old school getting things done to-do list, which is literally just like um, a pocket notebook where you just have a running list of things that you need to do. So it's a to-do list, literally. Um, and you just update it, you cross things out as you accomplish them, and um, it works really well. Anyway, I blathered long enough, and for this, I hope that you may have found this helpful. Uh, I hope you found this helpful, and um, you know, if you make yourself a little calendar thing, this could actually go into an art journal. Um, I've used this in an Everything Everywhere journal, um, and that is something that I'm also gonna get back into doing. I'll talk about my everything everywhere journal in a whole other episode. Um, but anyway, thanks for being here and I'll see you next time. Thanks and bye.